first networks. The second network, look at here, 224 plus this is equal to 4. Okay, 224 plus 4 equal to 228. That's it. After that, again, 224, okay, uh, plus 8 equal to the 232. So easy. After that, again, 224 plus uh, for example, 8 plus 4 means plus 12 equal to the 236, okay? And after that here, 224 plus 16 equal to 240. After that, here we have 224 plus 16, 240, and then plus 4, 244. And after that, the next networks, 224 plus uh, for example, 16, 240, plus 8, 248. And after that, uh, 224 plus uh, 16, 240, 248, 252. That's it. Also, we need to change all of the masks to a slash 30, a slash 30, okay? And then a slash 30. In each a slash 30 be a subnet mask, we have the, uh, for example, two usable hosts and then and then that's it let me to find the broadcast address for broadcast address you know that we need to use instead of the host beats okay instead of the host beats where one this is the first broadcast as 190 to 168 one here you know that the first three bits are one let me first change all of the first three bits to one okay this is the and then the, the network that we have the first three bits is one okay and after that here again the first three bits is one and uh, you know that we are submitting the 190 to 168 1 224 you know it okay and after that one this is one that's it okay now we have these three bits as subnet bits you know it okay look at here these three bits are subnet bits again subnet bits okay and then subnet bits. but because of that for subnet bits we can use here a zero 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 here zero zero one here a uh, zero one zero for example after that zero one one after that one zero zero then I uh, have for example one zero one and after that one one zero okay one one zero and finally one 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 now I used the one one or double one for the instead of the bits of the host because of that now we can calculate the a broadcast address for this network. Don't forget you need to change all of these 27 to 30 again 30. Let me to change all of them. After that we can calculate the decimal values of the networks okay it's so easy it, it is only the calculation okay you can easily do this calculation if you learn about the concept okay because of it don't worry about the calculation you you will practice this scenario and you will learn about all of the detail let me to calculate 192 168 1 224 plus 3 this is 3 okay plus 3 equal to the 227 you know that this value should be one value one number less than the next network address 227 227 is less than or one number from the one 228 let me to calculate the next 224 uh, plus 4 228 plus 3 231 look at here 231 this is one value one value less than the 232 again 224 plus 8 200 uh, for, uh, for example 32 then 235 that's it 235 and as you can see this is this has one value one number less than 236 let me to write another value 239 and after that 240 uh, for 200 yes 239 200 uh, this is the 239 one number less than 240 then 243 247 200 uh, for example 51 and finally 255 uh, uh, and we need to change all of this uh, 27 to a slash 30 a slash 30 then 30 again 
again and finally now we have this number okay after that we can find the host addresses between these two values you know that in each network we need only two ip address look at here to, uh, 224 is the network address 227 is the broadcast address because of that we have two number here 225 okay and also uh, 226 it's so easy let me to write here very good after that for the next networks we have 229 okay to uh, 230 230 between the 228 and 231 between the network address and broadcast address you learn about this it and then 233 after that here uh, we have 234 after that in the next networks we have 237 to 238 okay 238 that's it and after that uh, in the next networks we have 240 uh, for example, 1 to 242, 242, okay? This is only calculation, okay? You can use some calculator or calculators for this uh, design, but it's better to uh, design yourself because this is one of the abilities that you need for maintaining the network, for troubleshooting the network. The 245, the next networks, 246, and after that, 249, to 250 okay and the last networks has this uh, host 253 254 that's it okay here now we have seven networks and let me to correct them here we have eight networks you know that we need only seven networks because of that we can use the first network 192.168.1.224.30 slash 30 for the network one and, the, and then network two network three network four network five network six network seven and again now we have one uh, spare network we can uh, for example save it for the future usage okay this is our design in this design we use a slash 30 as the submit mask a slash 30 means 255.255.255.252 this means that in this scenario now we have two types of two type of networks the first type of network for the seven rooms that has uh, on 30 pcs has this submit mask 255 255 255.224 means a slash 27 and also for the uh, for uh, scenario b the rooms with two pcs now we find this submit mask is uh, suitable this means that in this uh, scenario we are using variable length subnet mask variable length okay subnet mask or vlsm why because we have two type of requirement in the previous scenario per previous uh, practices probably previous examples you learn about the single length subnet mask for example you know that in previous scenario i configured this example the first example let me write here the first example had this requirement we needed two network okay in each network we have 126 hosts as you remember, the, sub, the subnet mask we find for these networks is 255, 255, 255, 128, okay? And here we have only one, one subnet mask. We call it SLSM or single length, okay, subnet mask. Or in some cases, cases maybe you encounter with this uh, word FLSM or fixed length subnet mask both of them are same okay in the next example this is example one okay let me to write here the example two in example two we had this scenario four network with each network 62 hosts and you know that we I calculated the one two five five two five five two five five one ninety two as the subnet mask, and again here we have SLSM. But in the example three, this is the example three. We have two type of requirement. Let me write here. In example three, okay, we uh, we uh, example. This is example three. We needed seven network. In each network, we have, uh, for example, as you can see here, thirty IP address or thirty. Uh, hosts okay seven networks with 30 hosts 30 pieces and after that beside of that 
we have seven network okay with two ip address in each network let me write here this is the second requirement seven network with the two ip address two hosts in each network for the 